Hello, uh, my name is Augustin. I want to talk to you about coiling webbing. I found this. It's terrible. Uh, the reason why is that everything is pretty loose, you can see. So I have one end of the webbing. The webbing is flaked. What I will do is I take about one and a half meter here and I place that on my back. So like it should go to my knee roughly, at least lower than where my hand is. And that's so it doesn't get inside the other loops and doesn't make knots later. So I pinch the webbing in one hand, slide it over the other hand, extend my arms and bring it over my head. Then I change sides, pinching with one hand, sliding over my hand, head like this. And now I've made two loops and I just keep going. And here's why it's important to have it flaked before. You don't want to be doing that and pulling the webbing at the same time. Make sure the loops don't fall below your back. Okay, and now I have a bit over two meters left. And I'm going to put one hand through and get the webbing over my head. And make sure that the two sides are equal. And then I can wrap this end around. So I have to put it a bit below my hand. I don't want to be cinching it around my hand like this. I want to be a bit below, not too low. And every time I make a turn, I re tighten it after the second turn or so. And when I have about this much left, half a meter, I pull it with my hand through. I don't pull the, all the way, I keep this side here. And I put it over all of the webbing, like this. And now I pull tight again on the end. And that is the webbing that's well coiled. Now, when you get the webbing that's well coiled and you want to use it, you start by undoing this last wrap, but don't lose the middle. You put your hand through the middle and you undo this like that. And now you should be able to figure out if you put it flat on the ground, separating the two loops, this now can just come free.